Hi all, before we start I would like to say the stats that will be shown are accurate and a lot of it was data mined. The purpose of this video is to help new and old players alike understand the mechanics of bleed, injury and exhaust. Hopefully after this video you will understand more in depth of how these statuses work. There will be time stamps for the subjects, hope you enjoy. Let's start off with bleed. Bleed is mainly used as a hunting method by Acrocanthrosaurus and Megaraptors. And depending on the severity that the prey has, the effects strengthen. Bleed has a few downsides or upsides depending on if you're using it or not. These go as follow. When you have bleed, your comfort will never go up, it will always go down until you can heal the bleed off. Bleed can be increased by using the talent Serrated Teeth. While you have any sort of bleed, you cannot heal yourself from heal plants, crystals, or any other method of healing. You can only heal under the effects of bleed if you have below 30 bleed. Above 30 bleed you can only heal bleed and not health. You can only heal by natural means aka sitting or standing still while you have below 30 bleed. You can increase bleed heal rate by using the talent clotting. Now let's get to the juicy stuff of bleed. Bleed also has an extra effect of damage reduction depending on the severity of the bleed the prey has. If you have max bleed aka 100% bleed you will do around 19% less damage to a target. This is estimates because it's quite varying. At 50% bleed, it's around 10%. And this is the scary part. It works with intim roll and stacks with it. Five serrated teeth and five intim rolls looking much more appealing now. Bleed is calculated as the attacker's weight versus the prey's weight, and this is based at it will not increase via constitution or fatness. Sitting down heals bleed two times faster, sleeping heals it four times faster. If you have three out of three clotting, you will heal bleed damage 40 to 50% faster. Your health icon at the bottom right corner will start getting more and more bloody depending on the severity of the bleed you have accumulated with Max completely covering the health icon pretty much. Sprinting while having any sort of bleed will worsen the effect, meaning you'll take more bleed damage per tick. So instead of healing, you'll take more bleed damage. With one point invested into clotting, you can walk and heal bleed at the same time. So hopefully this helps with any questions around bleed. If you need any more, obviously the comment section is down there. Bleed is extremely effective for long engagements, so use it to that advantage to wither down your prey. Now it's injury time. Injury can be the main hunting method for some dinosaurs, like Psy, Patchy, Meg and Rex. Injury can be increased via the Bruiser talent. That's... With 3 points invested into Bruiser you can do injury on tail hits, but at half the injury. Leg hits deal double injury damage. You can increase the rate at which you heal injury with the healing talent. With 3 out of 3 in healing, you heal injury at a nearly double rate. With 5 healing, it's around triple. With more injury you accumulate, the slower you become. The more injury you have, the more injury you heal per tick, up until around 30% where it starts to slow down. Up around 50% injury, you move at half your sprint speed. At 100% injury, you cannot sprint but still consume stam when sprinting. Now let's get to the harder stuff. Flyers of injury struggle to fly depending on the amount of injury that they have. You'll start noticing it around 30% injury, at which you'll probably notice that you start getting grounded. Strong Bones does not counter Bruiser. 3 points invested into strong bones reduces injury taken by around 50%. With 5 points invested, it's around 55 or 60%. With 3 points invested into bruiser, you'll deal twice the amount of injury damage. With 5 points invested into bruiser, 
you'll deal around 2.5 times more damage. Injury affects your jump height. With 50% injury, your jump height is halved. With 100% injury, you cannot jump that high at all. You barely lift off the ground. Comfort affects the rate at which you heal injury. A lower comfort meaning you heal injury much slower, but a higher comfort means you heal injury much faster. Some dinosaurs are immune to injury, that being Ori, Velo, Sire, and Apatosaurus. Now on to exhaust. Exhaust is going to be a quick one because there's not much to dive deep into. The way exhaust is calculated is the damage of the attacker versus the HP of victim, and this is base stats. Meaning a dinosaur that does less damage, like a Velo, wouldn't do as much exhaust damage, whereas a Rex would do a lot of exhaust damage. Being fat or having con or even mixing the both does not have an effect on these values. Tail hits do one-fourth the exhaust damage of a body hit. Having at least one point into the exhaust talent will allow you to do exhaust damage. Each point adds around 1.5 times exhaust damage. Here's a summary of all the effects we just talked about. And that's the end of the video. Hopefully this video will help a lot of new and old players alike understand the effects Bob has to offer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and any questions you have be sure to leave them in the comments below because I might have actually missed something. But other than that I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.